Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. I've been using the Xbox Series S for a couple of months now and I figured I'd make a follow-up video telling you whether it's worth it or not. Spoiler alert, it is. But if you want to know why, stick around. Let's get to it. If you want an in-depth look at the Series S and the controller, check out my initial review where I go into everything in super deep detail. You're probably looking at picking up the Series S because you want to get involved in next-gen gaming, maybe as your first console or simply because even after a whole damn year, you can't find an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. Before I talk about gaming, let's talk about the Xbox itself. I love its understated minimalist-like design. The fact that this is so small still blows my mind. I absolutely love it. It makes it easier to fit anywhere. In fact, it's so small, when I'm off to my friend's house for a few days, I just pack this into a bag and take it with me. It's the best. This is an all digital console. There's no disk drive here, so you won't be able to share the disk with your friends or use it as a Blu-ray player. The selection of ports on the Xbox is also awesome. Being able to have a capture drive and a games drive plugged in and still have one more port available is great. The single fan is super silent. I've never heard it apart from when I put my ear up to it. Now let's talk about gaming and performance. This console is the weakest of the next generation, but don't let that fool you. If you're a gamer on a budget, casual or hardcore, this is the perfect entry level option. Performance has largely lived up to Microsoft's claims. Most games will offer you two options, a performance mode and a quality mode. Performance mode will let you run 1080p 60 frames per second, and quality mode will get you 1440p at 30 fps with DRS, dynamic resolution scaling. If you're playing on a 4K screen, the console will render at 1440p and upscale to 4K, which is absolutely fine and if you're playing at a normal viewing distance, it looks great. There's even HDR support, so games look even better. Overall, games look and run great. Over the last year, there have been many XS optimized titles and updates released, taking advantage of the next generation's processing power. There's also so many back compatible titles that are run faster and better on the Series S. Now, you might be wondering how the Series S will fare with future titles, wondering whether it'll take more than just a resolution drop, but so far, looking at a game like Forza Horizon 5, the Series S shows that it's a very capable machine. The blazing fast SSD on board makes loading times super quick and quick resume is literally a blessing. Sometimes I make the mistake of selecting the wrong title or after a few minutes of playtime, I just want to switch to something else. Switching to another game is literally almost instantaneous and I love this feature. I have been running into roadblocks with storage though. Out of the 512 gigabytes, only 364 of that is available to use. So that fits around three to four big titles along with some smaller ones. I'm never playing more than three to four titles at a time. So this is okay, but I do wish there was a cheaper option to the storage expansion card. In the end though, I'm okay with swapping games back and forth from external drives to the internal drive. Probably the biggest selling point of this console is Game Pass. For a monthly fee, being able to play exclusives, select new games on day one, and so many more titles is wonderful. Also, if you're a Game Pass member, you'll also get discounts on select games that you plan on purchasing. As far as exclusive games go, there's been a whole bunch of games released for the Xbox since its launch. We've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, Forza Horizon 5, Halo Infinite Multiplayer, and Halo Infinite's Campaign. And not just that, at Xbox's E3, a whole bunch of new games releasing as early as next year were revealed, and I can't wait to see those as well. Now, let's talk about what you'll be doing all that gaming with, the controller. The controller feels great. I haven't had any issues with it. Yeah, it's missing the crazy new features that the DualSense has, but that's fine. Fundamentally, the controller is good. The buttons are nice to press, the triggers feel great, the vibration and the haptics are strong, and the design is great. Long hours of Fortnite with the boys doesn't get my hands cramped, so overall, this controller is awesome. Swapping batteries is a pain though, but with this being an easy, user-replaceable part, I'm happy it's like this, rather than this being a non-user-replaceable internal battery. Entertainment-wise, the Xbox Series S has apps for all the major streaming platforms, and supports full 4K output with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. I'd also like to talk about some things that I'd like to see updated with the console. One problem I have is with game capture. I've been trying to capture and upload clips on my second channel, which you can check out right here. If you're interested in gameplay, go check out that channel and hit the subscribe button. So yeah, if you want to record for more than a minute, you'll need an external USB 3.0 drive. You can't capture to the internal storage. And if you want to share the video, you can't send it to the Xbox app or upload it to YouTube directly. You can only do so by unplugging the drive and transferring it to your computer. I hope this is something that receives an update soon. Another thing I'd like to see updated is the main menu interface. Don't get me wrong, it serves its purpose perfectly, 
but the design looks dated and I think it could do with a lot less clutter. Overall though, more than 500 hours of playtime later, do I think the Xbox Series S is worth it at its price tag of $299? Yes. With Game Pass, the Series S is a great deal, and with the Series X and PS5 being so hard to find due to the chip shortage, this is the best next-gen console option for everyone. So yeah, that's it for me in this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.